everybody, Elisa here from Lama and Bible Crochet. Today I'm here to show you what I got. Um, so I made a crazy purchase. Now I I bought a couple ferrules hooks. Fer, ferrules hooks. I would not normally buy these. I feel like I saw a lot of bad reviews about them. And then there was a lot of good reviews, but I've seen a lot of bad reviews about them breaking. And then I've also seen reviews about how you just can't crochet as quickly with them. But the reason why I bought these is because as you saw in one of my other videos, I recently tried the prim hooks and then some, once in a while I do use a couple of these Hobby Lobby hooks. And then I found that if I switch back and forth, it really helps with my hand. It's, it's, I'm not constantly gripping. I, sometimes it takes me a minute to stretch my hand out after gripping my clover hooks or Tula Batima hooks all day. So I thought I'd try the prim and I like it, but my problem with the prim is there's no 5.5 and there's no, um, there's no 5.5 and there's no 6.5. Now 5.5 is okay. Um, I can deal with that cause I, I feel, well, I've been sometimes I feel like I, I have a lot of them I, I probably have I don't know how I end up with so many of the 5.5 but um, but either way I wanted all the different sizes so and I wanted because I've been crocheting so much and I continue crocheting and trying to create you guys as many because uh, I, I want to continue crocheting and try to create as many patterns for you as possible I need to um, switch back and forth just so I don't end up getting doing anything in my hand. So I thought I would try it. And also because I I used to go to Joann's, use a coupon, 6% of coupon and get my hook. Well, I can't do that anymore. And even though Joann's isn't that far away, I don't really wanna use my, if they have a 50% of coupon or even 60% of coupon, I don't really wanna use a 60% of coupon for one hook to find time in my day between school to drive there. So I went crazy and got myself two furrows hooks, and this is probably the only ones I'll ever buy, although I have not used them yet. Um, I don't know, I, I broke open the furrows hooks immediately and started using them, but these guys I, I haven't, I don't wanna, I have projects started I need to get done and I don't wanna just jump in with these because I've seen people say that their gauge changes. So I wanna wait till I'm starting a new project and just do it with this, and maybe I'll, I'll uh, play around with this too and do a swatch with the furrows hook and then with my clover hook to see how they compare um, how my gauge changes but that's what um, I'm going to use these once I start a new project so this way I can use them all the way through and I'll let you know what I think of them uh, they're definitely different um, just by looking at them I'm not sure how I will feel about the head because they're kind of like Susan Bates but that's okay uh, as long as as long as my hand feels okay I think that I'll do well but I, I wanted to try these and see especially to make up that 6.5 gap because I don't know why but lately any almost every time I'm doing something with a um worse to weight yarn I've been going up this far for my projects lately but that's okay uh, so hopefully they work out well and I will let you know another video and I did also get one other thing and I got these I didn't go to furrow site there was a deal on these for with Mary Maxim so I got them there now that I also bought something else while I was when they're getting the hooks and it looks a little different than it did in the picture but or the color shades look a little bit different but I really do like this yarn it feels so nice and I want to get more variegated yarns I'm I keep using my cakes lately to design things or variegated yarns for different effects what are you doing sorry the kids left one of their school blocks in here and the cat is going crazy batting it back and forth anyway so I got this it's called Mary Maxim Elements, and I wanted some more yarns that I could just take the yarn and make something and it had a cool effect. And this is acrylic wool DK. It's 80% acrylic, 20% wool. It's 50, 151 yards. 
in 50 grams, 1.75 ounces. The colorway is called Wildflowers. And it's a three weight yarn. It calls for just a six millimeter knitting needle. I'm sorry, four millimeter knitting needles. And uh, machine washable and dryable, use gentle cycle, tumble dry. Oh, that's nice. I like that. So they tell you how to wash it, not just the pictures. They physically tell you to do it on a gentle cycle for two minutes, which is nice. I don't see that on many yarns, but that is Mary Maxim's brand yarn elements. And yeah, that looks like wildflowers. It's very pretty. So I got three of these and I don't know what I'm gonna make with that, but I'm very excited for that. So that's all I have for you today. And if you've tried furrows, let me know what you think. Uh, do you like them? Do you not like them? I like to know what other people think. Cause I, I, I it was hard breaking down and getting them. Cause I just, I don't know. I, I don't know why I, I just seems, it seems like a lot to pay for a hook when I can get a whole bunch of hooks. Cause I, I buy a lot of hooks. I have a cat that eats my hooks. I, my cat bats my hooks and then um, I used to take my kids to Breezy leave him alone um, I used to take my kids to visit their grandmothers all the time and I always brought my hooks with and sometimes I end up leaving a set at one of their houses so this way if I forgot one of my hooks it's a lot easier to just go to one of their houses and pick up my hooks as opposed to not, uh, not being able to finish or needing to go to the store and just buy like a, a um, Susan Bates or a boy one to finish. But that's it. So that's all I have for today. And look out, I have some new fun patterns coming. And I hope you like and subscribe and have a great day.